I just got my ISO pucks. And I'm so excited about this. These are, no joke, they're heavy duty. Each one holds 20 pounds, up to 20 pounds. So I got four for each of my speakers. My uh, Eve 307s. Yeah, this is great. I did not know about decoupling monitors for a very long time. And it's a pro tip. If you have a home studio or a real studio, maybe you know about it. If you don't, um, decouple your monitors. It gives you better sound. It helps with reflection, frequency response, bass and everything. So if you invest in nice audio gear, make sure you get the accessories to go with them so you're getting the best sound from your stuff. ISO acoustic pucks. So excited about these. Uh, each pack comes with two in a pack. Short instructions. This is no Ikea booklet, I will say. Just put them in the corner, face forward. That's it. And they look like little hockey pucks. A little bit of rubber on both sides. I don't know. Science, physics, isoacoustics. Very cool. They have mini versions that are a little cheaper than these. So if you have a record player or something, a little amp, whatever, you can put those under there. Just make sure you get the right size for the equipment that you have. So I googled the weight of each speaker and discovered that I needed the ISO puck. Maybe it's ISO. ISO puck? Whatever. That's what I got. Alright. So now, as you can see, I have them underneath. Well, the other one was just sitting right on the desk and it was bothering me for like a month. But I finally invested in these and today's a great day. So I'm gonna set the rest of these up and go listen to some tunes. Woo! Ah, uh, yeah. Cool.